Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We are at the Bucky's. I am meeting up with a couple of danglers, and we are going fishing today. I am going to be sitting third chair. I'm going to be in the back of the boat, and I thought I would be the best back of the boat host ever and play personal chef today for my dangling buddies. So we're going to go in here in the Bucky, see if there's any interesting ingredients here today. I've already gotten some uh, some meat selections, uh, basically a three course meal breakfast, lunch, and snacks uh, with dessert. I think the boys are going to love it. There's the legend, John B. The Kidlin truck, and we're meeting up with Mr. We got, Grant. We got rods. We got grills. We got beer. We got cookies. What? What are we missing? Big bass. Big bass. Let's go. So the year are in the summer for black. I, that's what all my clients know for. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are floating. I am joined by fellow danglers, Grant Langmore. There's John B. Let's do it. There's Kale, the cameraman, in the back, and I'm going to be in the back because I am going to be chefing it up today. These gentlemen are working hard. They're on a swim bait challenge, so. My my educational goal is to learn about this. The most productive thing we might do during there, I had a stroke. Pardon me. The most productive thing we might do during this challenge is eat your food. That's all. So to say. we'll that's see. We're probably gonna, gonna throw the good. glide for about twenty minutes and then go up shallow and start flipping. But yeah, that's realistic. It's <laughs> very realistic. Don't crush Grant's dreams right away. Grant just showed me a lure. He said it was worth twelve hundred dollars. Can I oh, see yeah. that thing? Keep it locked away in it. Tell them I'm dungeon. selling it for twelve hundred bucks too, if you want it. Twelve hundred bucks. <laughs> if you guys are interested in a, uh, what is this? What is this? A hinkle like? trout, eleven it's inches, like, nine oh, ounces. Hinkle. It seems like just a two by four with hooks, but I I'm mean, told it swims great. Yeah, I fish this bait and lakes that have zero trout, and I essentially I think the colorway really doesn't matter it's way more about the profile so they see it from underneath and it just looks like a big giant just swims, gizzard shad swims right yeah and the way it swims obviously is going to attract some fish but lakes without trout is a huge thing like any trout swim bait will work in lakes without it so it and works john's i mean he's already casting he's scoped in oh, I already got a pole. I already uh got a pole. grant is a guide he did, he's a guide now and um best job atx ever, by the way Right, I, I used to guide as well. So much fun. But you're on. You specialize in the swim bait game. For sure, yeah. Uh, I specialize in swim baits, but I mean, we do all kind of stuff. I've definitely merged to more of like whatever they're they biting. Sure. sure. But but for sure, above all, you know, ninety percent of my clients want to come out and learn about the big baits. So that's, that's definitely what I'm here for. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll, that's what I'm we'll here for. teach you a thing or two. You know, John. <clears throat> I try to. I try to. Get, Get, get answers out of John, but he just gets he gets locked into the scope, and I lose him. Oh yeah. So what's that? What'd you say? <laughs> he also has no idea what he's not. Oh! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Now I'm not. If you have an extra bone coming out of your neck, <laughs> I was a live scope user. <laughs> he's gonna be watching his heart rate machine. You're like, <laughs> they like having oh. like having withdrawals. They like We're having a good time. Like, like, like having a good like time. Me and John came out here yesterday and <laughs> caught yeah. like fifty bass. So, so I fulfilled a lot of bass catching needs. A lot of sniffs. That's gonna be on the Guggen Squad channel, so you guys can uh, go peek that. And today I'm gonna catch a few bass as well. But I'm hungry. I haven't eaten today. I know these guys are, are going to be hungry here in just a little bit, so I'm going to get the Coleman grill out. I do a lot of truck camping, as you guys know, and I uh, I carry this kit in my truck, so I just thought I'd throw it in the boat today. John's got a pretty awesome boat. We've brought the basket. Okay, six eggs from the Rackley Roost, so we're going to be chefing those up. Well, Chef LFG forgot his lighter, so... Uh, 
it's kind of a prop isn't it yeah some would say some would say so we're, we're gonna have to take a brief fishing intermission i have to pick up the old horizontal hot dog here this is what i mean by horizontal hot dog it's not an actual hot dog it's a lunker log Nope. Got a hot dog eater. Oh, I lost him. Dang gum. He was like five to eight, something around there. Oh, shoot. That's a good one to throw on the grill, guys. Yeah, that's, that's a nice one. Good one to what? Throw on the grill. <laughs> Cook that up. I got it, guys. I got her. I got her, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. This is a trogle night, bro. <laughs> oh. This is a healthy one here. Oh. It's two liter. Get the gaff, get the gaff. Oh, it's barely hooked. How is that fish not coming off? Oh my goodness, by the skin. Don't know how that one did not come off. Light hook and a spinning rod, that's how it didn't come off. Beautiful. Slow release, because you're so pretty. We're on a little hot bank right here. I don't want to disturb the boys' competition. And uh, I did have a pretty nice fish on. Came off. It's gonna be nice. You know, yesterday, John didn't have any food all day. I had one sandwich and I was like, hey man, I'll split it with you. He said, no, I'm good. He was just in the zone fishing. He was starving, just toughing it out. So we're gonna, we're gonna fix that today. We're gonna be nice and comfortable. Took a nice Bucky's poop at 5.54 this morning. So I've got lots of room for food. In the stall at Bucky's? Yeah, you could probably hear me from the next county over. I was I was letting out a, I was exerting a lot of energy. I love Bucky's. There's not a better toilet. I prefer Bucky's over my own personal bathroom, to be quite honest with you. They're so nice. I know, it's loud. Grant's wow. throwing throwing a dinner plate out here. Oh, yeah. I think it looked like a crappie. What is it? It's uh here, just got you. smashed. Yeah, damn. They I've really never seen a miss a weight bait, which is weird. But uh this is like a little UFO bait, and it's just got that bill so it stays right on the surface. It's a wake bait. Uh what in the world? And this time of year, anytime they're bedding or just anytime they're eating bluegill, really. And we'll come up to the surface if you just slow wake and then give it a burn pause they smash so it spawn and then post spawn po that's, spawn, that's, that's post the deal spawn, middle of the summer i just well, i mean it looked like a six pounder oh, plus was, just yeah, came up and toilet flushed that thing it's it's a different realm it's a different realm notice he's not wearing a flat bill either <laughs> and vance and vance hey, this <laughs> This I usually a... do. I just, I just decided not to today. <laughs> Self-conscious. My skateboard's actually in my truck, and I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty bummed I left it. <laughs> Every bike is like kick flip, a little celebratory. <laughs> What's that? Like, what would you call that green stuff? Is that just reeds? We oh, are in luck, John B. Had a lighter in his truck. Save the day. Save the day. That's one thing I forgot this morning. That and butter, unfortunately. Damn it. But we're gonna fix that. We're gonna put some um, some greasy sausage into the pan to get it started, get it warmed up, get that lubrication, and then do a couple eggs. You guys getting a little hungry or what? I'm starving. They've been dangling. They've caught like ten bass or something. I don't know. You know. Burning calories out here. It's actually pretty amazing how many calories you do burn on the water. We are hot.
got my little folding spatula out of my camp cook kit. <sighs> a little plate. And that wiener sizzling. Man, this thing will double as a fly swatter. I got these biting know. flies. They bite your ankles. Oh, yeah. And I'm not sure how we're going to eat this yet, like all together. It might be a one plate at a time. I plate it up. I got to wash the dish and present it to a new, a new angler like each time. Cause I didn't bring my full four, you know, four plate set up today. Don't have my full kitchen, but I feel like we're, we're comfortable enough with the, with each other. We could probably be all right with that. Unprepared personal chef. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Grant, don't steal my thunder right now. Don't hurt my thunder. <laughs> I won't. You're going to love this sausage, I I'll promise. Absorb. At this point, it's pretty much ready to eat. I'm going to wait until those, the skin just starts to pop a little bit more. I gotta tell you what, the Lund? What model is this? 2075 Pro V. This thing is legit. Good for a little bit of everything. Look, I mean, look how much space is in here. Oh, you know? still got him. Oh, still here we go. Him. Right by the grill. Flip him in the pan. Number six. I am now in the lead. Oh, God, look at that. That little sucker. Looking great. All right, we're gonna let that cool off. Now we got our grease that's kind of in our, our pan here. We're gonna do some over easies. Look at that. Mm. You ever seen such service? Oh yeah, we got some eggs cooking up in here now. We're gonna add a little bit of SPG. It's a little stuck. Gotta get it. There it is. Oh yeah, bam! I didn't even put butter and oil in here. I just had the uh, I had the sausage. Those are looking perfect. Look at that, they're sliding. Those eggs are sliding. So well seasoned cast iron, followed the hot to to low method, and it's working pretty good. So I'm actually going to shut this down till the next round. Breakfast is ready, gentlemen. Who's up? Jeffrey Dahmer? Grant's up. Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> what do you got on that? Mm -hmm. you got on that wiener. Pretty good. Oh, dang. That wiener's amazing. Bucky's knows how to make some wieners. Also, over easy eggs. Cooked to perfection on the back of a boat. Classic. Gotta love it. That's some good these, are your, these are from your chickens? Yeah, those are, those are my chickens. That's from, uh, my daughter calls her Rio, some black chicken that she likes from like a movie. That is amazing, dude. And Holy then, uh, hell. The other one is is a naked neck chicken. It has no neck feathers. Really? Yeah. Which one uh, produces the most delicious eggs? I'm going to say Rio. Rio? This is Rio? She's kind of a hybrid. She's like an Easter egger mixed with an Australorb. So she makes these big mm -hmm. eggs, but they're also blue. They're beautiful. They actually beautiful taste yolks. different than like store-bought eggs. That's really good. Golden yolks, baby. Yeah, golden yolks. Isn't that thing like when they're yellow and golden? That's yeah. better. Or uh, orange and golden. Good omega-3s. Yeah. Oh my gosh, good bro. Good omega-3s. I really could eat breakfast food like three times a day. Like like some sourdough bread mm. with like a little bit of avocado. You're a Cracker Barrel 11 a.m. kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah, 11 a.m. I feel you. Uh -huh. I feel you. All right, so you give the Rackley Roost rating a, a good, good review. Eleven out of ten. Wow, this is actually insane. This is really wow. Insane. <laughs> All right, so Grant's up next. I, 
I have to catch a fish before I'm. All right, Grant. Ate no, a... no, you don't now. But Grant also ate a pop tart this morning, so I don't oh, know no. how he thinks that like he's some sort of connoisseur of cuisine. <laughs> he scarfed down a couple pop tarts, and he's like, "That's all I had." I'll be the judge of this. The pa- young young Grant's palate may not be as developed as. John's. That's not the only thing that's not developed. <laughs> Frontal cord, cord depths or whatever. What a day. What a day on the water. Man, a little Cholula just to top that off. That's nice. Finishing off with a cookie. These cookies were meant to be like a late afternoon, but they're just, they're almost gone. It's like 10, 10 a.m. Yeah. Is that late afternoon? <laughs> they're really good. <laughs> Shout out to Stephanie. Um, Ocean Spoon Girl. Yeah, Ocean Spoon Girl. She wh- she whipped those up. That's actually out of her cookbook. So good. Those are the Which we almond butter. Yeah, Clearly, Clearly bought that. She made the um, espresso cookies. I heard. Oh, yeah. And they're the really, cookies that Clearly good. made the other day on the boat were amazing. She made like a yeah. maple a maple syrup. She like maple substituted syrup, maple syrup. Used chocolate yeah. chip. It was pretty awesome. So. Yeah, they're uh, <laughs> some quality bakers. The sure. wifeys. The wifeys are amazing. They're making us fat, man. They're amazing. They're making me fat for sure. John, those are some sick shorts. Where did you get those? Man, I went and found this website. It's called GuggenSquad.com. Uh, I think they just released these. These are the new spring shorts. These are, these are the bass pad eaters. These are honestly some of the best shorts we've come out with as far as styling goes. And they're also just the comfortable design that everyone already loves. Uh, Today's 86 degrees, so I went with the shorts. Like, it feels good to find. This actually, might, this actually might be the first day where I get to wear shorts. It's been so cold recently. But, yeah, if you guys want to check some of these out, use code LFG to save 10% off at checkout. Wow. These Thank things, you for the plug. Yeah, dude, these things are sexy, though. Check them out. We've, all, we've also got more designs, too. We've got the Slizzard design, which is like a neon green and blue, yeah. which I really like, too. Um, but, yeah, we've got shirts, all the good stuff. Check and it out. Link down if you, below. Yeah, if you don't want to get crazy, we also have just standard black. Green liners yes. in it. <laughs> yeah, they have the same shorts on. I have the same shorts on today. How'd that happen? Good. Good fish. Def- Wait, that one. Definitely, uh, definitely a female. It looks, it looks suspiciously Ooh. five-ish. Yeah, it does look suspiciously five Good, good boy. Fish. These are homegrown. Raised them myself from oh. little babies. All right, well, when they were just hatchlings, and now they've created these beautiful little eggs for you. Might just do the whole thing. The when I met you, Grant, you were just a hatchling. That is true. <laughs> many, many moons ago. <laughs> many, many moons ago. <sighs> that is so good. I've only had a nibble. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Oh, see this little clutch color there, right? That's really this good. Oh, God, that's so sexy. One of one. Uh, Really? That bubonic guy painted a couple and sent them to Ross, then Ross doesn't fish, so he sent it, well, he fishes, but he doesn't fish a ton, so he sent it to me. Delicious. I haven't even Man. put my teeth in the wiener yet. <laughs> the verbiage. Well, <clears throat> Saving the best for last. Elongated. Yeah, you, that three cheese wiener is quite nice. I look Dude, good. That, that looks awesome. Isn't it? You want it? Yours. I'll use it. Yeah, use it. I was going to say, because I haven't really caught anything on it, so I would take What's it. What's that one? I will put it to use. It's a custom painted clutch. I got a brown one, clutch? too. Like a br- I got like a brown and like teal one. Looks sexy. Love Who it. that? All right, y'all. All the danglers are happy with the breakfast. This is a good move. I'm cooking my own up right now. Unfortunately, I, I split my own yolk. I botched my own, my own eggs. But it's okay. Chef eats last. And after I get fueled up, I might put another stick in my hand. Just kind of dive around a little bit, get another bass. Uh, next course is going to be some some boudin with some sautéed apples. I don't know how that's going to go, but it sounds pretty good in theory. Just out here enjoying some eggs and some three cheese wieners. Over easy eggs. That's when the juices are running out. You see that? Ooh, man. It'd be nice to have a little toast. I like a little jelly toast in the morning. This is my normal program. I do three eggs over easy with a little toast and some jelly. That's an awesome breakfast. Mmm. Yeah, it just fills you up. Makes you feel like you're doing something. Mm. Doing something real. Here we go, baby. It's like a little better one. Come here! Ah, yeah! Nice. 
Yeah, good fish. Logfish, baby. Oh, yeah. That guy. Mm -mm -mm. Taste the treats. Okay, midday update. I think Grant is in a commanding lead at oh, this yeah. point. Yeah, I'm up six fish. That's not helping his cause, at least. Helping mine. All right, I got me a few fish on the line. Fun times. Got one on a crankbait, got a couple on the old log, and now I'm going to uh, activate the grill again, and we're going to get some boudin going. Some boudin. Gotta be very careful not to puncture the skin here. It's gonna be like surgery, getting these things out. Skin in a deer when you get to the gut sack. There we go. Nicely done. Scooter. Try to keep him out of our lunch. See, you, buddy. What are you doing back there? Jeff Boy RR. So, I think it's ready. I've had it on here for about 30 minutes. Quite a long time. Um, I haven't sauteed the apples. We may just have to have those. It's like a bite into it, man. Bite into it. I apologize. I didn't bring my butter That's to really saute. But the, the boudin's looking pretty nice. Thank goodness. You know, you just woke up from a nap. You look like you're hungry. Oh my gosh. Would you be so kind as to break out the bacon aioli, please? Real fries. With real turtle meat. <laughs> Made with real turtle kind of meat. throws me off a little bit. It's got a little, like, <laughs> a little soft shell. This turtle. must be from uh, Someone Loves Turtles. I love turtles. turtles. That's not a tan line, that's a burn. Uh oh. I am sucking. Yeah, let's oh. go! Let's go! Broke, me. Broke you, off? you off? That's what's up. Are there any other wackies? Nope, nope, literally nope. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, all my wacky hooks. Yeah, they got, got dumped. Yeah, they got dumped the other day. Yeah, you can look at my tackle box, see if I have any. This little guy right here? You literally had like 400 hooks in there. You probably spent a lot of time organizing that. <laughs> I know, yeah, I did. You are not wrong. <laughs> I spent a lot of freaking time. It was a beautiful box. Oh, dude, they're like crispy. Yeah, crispy outside. Oh, my God. Hit it with that little bacon right there. Bacon aioli? Bacon aioli. I actually aioli. love aioli. Son oh, of a That is so know. good. You want to hit me with some more? Thank you for making this. Wow, the only like elevates it to like a whole other dimension. Grant's down to one well, wacky rig, one wacky rig hook. Get in! Hey, man. watch the. Oh, not the aioli. Look at that. One more hit. One hit more me. hit. Shout out to Rackley. Boom. Oh wait, this one's not 12 inches. I think you're right. No, bump, bump, bump. Will you hand me the? What do you got on that? Pretty good. Today's been, today's theme for food has oh, yeah, been sausage. Um, 15. 15 inches? No, no, no. Number 15. It was like 13 inches. Oh, God. Today's theme for food has been sausages. Boudin's a little different because, like Rocco was saying, it's like kind of a mixture. It's not like packed with a bunch of meat. There's like rice in it, mm -hmm. spices. It's like a Creole thing, right? It's like Louisiana Creole, a little bit of French. Um, that was insane. 10 out of 10 on that one, too. Just hey, you want a little, little, little bacon aioli on it? So good. Give that a whirl. That is really good. I think you're going to love it. Oh, look at the back of my legs. Holy shit. Crispy skins. 
Amazing. It's cr yeah, it's it's crazy because it's like crispy but soft on the inside. I'm not gonna lie, without your cooking today, I think I'd be right where John was about 20 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Keeping well, me going. I wanted to bring that to the table today. You know, get another the idea. experience. It's all about the experience, not just the food. It's the experience. It's the friendship. All around. It's all around. It's a good laugh and a good time. Well, Grant's on again. Just getting pumped on that wacky log. Little micro, it's not gonna cut it. It's not gonna make it. It ain't gonna make it. All right, y'all, it's time, time for, whoop, sorry, fell off the table there. Time for me to give my, my personal opinion on this boudin. Pretty amazing deer camp food, but I've never had it on the water. Let's give it a shot with that bacon aioli. Oh my gosh. Cooked it just right with the crispy skin on the outside. Soft on the inside. Oh man, that is fire. Wow, can you imagine if we were all in like bibs and it was 40 degrees? It'd make it even better, oh, biting into that. A hot sausage. This stuff sets it off. Scores getting tied on the game right now. John B. hooked up with a potential 12 incher. Bring him three behind the leader, Grant. At this point, I think my cooking duties are maybe retired for the day. I'm just chilling. 14. New spot. Well, John B.'s pulling up. Oh, let's go. This is the most intense jerkbait session I've ever seen in my life. You guys are jerking and not talking. <laughs> oh yeah, it's serious. Everyone's dipped. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, the competition has come to a close. I'm going to let you tune in to these fishing content creators' channels to see who's the biggest wiener. And my job as chief chef executive de Lund has come to a close. Gentlemen, did you enjoy your, your food experience on today's journey? Fantastic. So good. It was like a five-star restaurant in the water. The only thing uh, that would have made it better is if uh, one of us caught a double digit, but I think we caught 50 fish today. I mean, you can't ask for a better situation. Good people, good laughs, good fishing, good food. Good. That's life. Good. That's life. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, y'all. A little dangling, a little feasting. Good times. Switched it up, did something different. Normally you just starve on the lake. It kind of stinks, but when the fishing's good, you just keep on going. Subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and I'll see you on another outdoor adventure.